Hey guys, so in this video I wanted to address another comment and this person is Shirkaya. That was probably horrible. Sorry if I butchered your name. S-H-I-R-K-E-A. Um, she or he left a question. I don't know, male or female. Sorry if I misgendered you. Um, but the question was, well, the person was asking if I could clarify why some medical assistants may not want to become nationally certified. And so this is kind of a multifaceted type of response that you're going to get. So um, the thing about medical assisting is you technically don't need a certification to start working as a medical assistant. Now, there may be certain people who have the ability to be trained on the job, um, where they get hired and the doctor may train them um, or another medical assistant like supervisor or the nurse um, <clears throat> may train them to do the certain duties of their job. Um, the thing about it is, like I said, you don't necessarily have to have a certification to start working as a medical assistant. And so it kind of depends on the position and what kind of office you're working for what responsibilities the doctor wants you to have. Um, and I'm sorry if you hear my godmother's dog whining. Um, they went to get their hair cut and so I'm dog sitting for now until they get back. But um, like I was saying, sorry for the distraction, um, it is important to know that there are positions that do want you to have a certification. However, I've also been noticing lately that a lot of places that are hiring for medical assistants seem to be saying that, you know, if you don't have the certification, they will either assist you with getting certified or they will give you time to do it. Um, I don't necessarily think that there's medical assistants that don't want the certification because a lot of times if you're uncertified, you get paid a lower wage than someone who does have a certification. But like I said, there are places where you get on the job training um, or, you know, they don't require you to have a certification. However, if you had the certification, they will pay you a higher wage or give you more job responsibilities if you are a certified medical assistant. Now, I personally definitely see the value in getting a certification because there's so many different things involved and I think it makes you more marketable as a job candidate. For example, I feel like a lot of places would definitely choose someone who is certified over a person that is not certified. So um, there's also places that prefer certain medical assistant certifications over another. So if you didn't know, there are multiple certifying bodies when it comes to medical assisting and a lot of people like the CMA credential, which is Certified Medical Assistant. Um, I am a CCMA through the NHA, which is Certified Clinical Medical Assistant, and it's basically just a different certification exam. However, a lot of places tend to be preferring either a registered medical assistant, which is RMA, or a certified medical assistant, which is a CMA. I have seen job postings that are specifically looking for CCMA. However, a lot of them seem to be asking for RMA or CMA. Um, I have found that a lot of CMAs tend to have associate degrees. However, there are programs that you don't need an associate's degree to get that CMA credential. It just kind of depends on the education program that you went to to get your medical assistant training. Um, and you know, what kind of experience you have for getting a CMA certification. I believe that after a certain time of experience, like a certain level of experience, that I would be able to sit for the CMA exam. However, I haven't really looked into that, so don't quote me. Um, I'm not necessarily looking to do that, but I feel, I think when I was doing research before I started going back to college, um, for pre-med, I was looking into different options like that, and I believe after a certain level of experience or amount of experience that I would be able to sit for that exam. Um, so like I said, I don't really think that there's a lot of people who 
like don't want to have a certification but I think the point of it is like a lot of people want to get their foot in the door and they want to start working quicker so sometimes on the job training is the easiest way to become a medical assistant um, if you have that opportunity for you now like I said there are a lot of places that want you to be certified but if you have like say you're already working for a doctor's office maybe you're working the front desk and they need somebody to work as a medical assistant and they offer you the opportunity to be a medical assistant without getting that certification you know if that's what you want to do you should definitely go for it because it is definitely cheaper i wouldn't say it's easier um because those opportunities are few and far between um especially considering like how many people are going to school and getting certified nationally um, for medical assisting. Like the one, the place where I went to school for my medical assistant training is like churning out medical assistants left and right. They graduate um, cohorts every single month, multiple cohorts, at least two cohorts every month graduate from the school that I was attending. Um, so they are definitely churning out medical assistants but, um, like I said, to go back to your original question, I don't think it's necessarily that people don't want to get certified. They may just not want to take the time to get certified or they may not have the funds to pay to get certified because it can be expensive to go through a class, um, a training class. I think the state of Indiana actually paid for my medical assisting, um, but I think without it, it would have cost me like $5,000 or $9,000, something like that to get my um, NHA CCMA credential. I can't remember the exact amount because like I said, I didn't pay for it. The state of Indiana paid for it through um, Indiana's Next Level Jobs program. And I have made a video talking about that. Um, however, if you would like more information, I can definitely provide you with that as well. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, if you have any other questions regarding medical assisting, CNA, phlebotomy, pre-med, any of that stuff, I would be glad to try to answer your question as best as possible. I don't claim to know everything. Um, you know, obviously I'm still going through the pre-med journey. This is only my second semester of pre-med, but I, you know, I would be more than happy to try to answer your question or address your concerns or, you know, whatever. Um, if there's any topics you'd like me to talk about in the future on my channel, please let me know that as well. And I'd be glad to get something filmed for you. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys next time.